Are you wondering, are the numbers down this year's Van Build Fest? You know, because of the $75 fee. Like, it's a good question, isn't it? Well, I'm going to go, I'm going to break in, I'm going to find out what the actual numbers are. I was here last year, I walked up and down, I'm back again this year, and I'm going to tell you if there's more, the same, fewer, how has the $75 fee impacted attendance? This is my box truck RV conversion. I'm box truck Corey. Let's go. B -b box truck Corey. So we're just now getting up close. We're starting to see some rigs in the area. I don't think uh, as many as last year. Like this whole area was just packed and everyone that's coming has arrived now. It's, uh, it's day two. So the stragglers have arrived. Nobody's left yet. We've got mile marker six here. We're just going by now. So we're getting up close. You know, normally I would have washed the windshield and got, you know, all the dog's nose prints off and the dust and cleared things out, but I wanted to keep it authentic. I know you want to know what it's like out here in the desert with uh, a couple dogs. So that's why I didn't clean. That was the only reason just to uh, make the video more authentic for you. We're going to go outside go for a little walk. The sound of generators. We've infiltrated guys. It's legitimate work happening right there behind me. No wristband, but we've infiltrated. We're taking a sneak peek. We're seeing what's going on. Is this woman bothering you? Do you want me to kick her out for you? So how's your van build going? My van build. Hmm. Is it fun? Are you partying? Tell me all about it because I'm one of the poor folk. You know, I don't have that, I'm that not wristband. I have no beer, I have no weed, and I have no friends. There's lots of people here in the main, main event area. That's for sure. The question is, I think, how many people are in the outskirts? So let's go and we'll check that out next. But for main event area, I'm saying same as last year. Skipper's having a great time here at the van build. Been here, what four days? My cute dogs. <laughs> How are you? Skipper. How are you? <laughs> yeah, it's quite the pee jug. It's not, yeah, it's Just sitting not. there. Just sitting there. I don't know, man. That's fan life, I guess. Party Central, guys, right there. I just, you know, feel a little bit like a criminal. But there you have it, there it is. So this is the line, guys, right by the, the light. The light, the light. Everything beyond here is just BLM camping, beyond the permit zone. And as you can see, there's lots of people. How far down does it go? Quite a ways, I don't know. Let's see, let's zoom in and see if we can see. So I'm gonna drive a little further down. We're gonna do a quick count. We're gonna see how we compare. But there's definitely a lot of people camped over here that didn't wanna to pay to get into the event. And uh, they're taking in the ambiance right next door. Moving on down the road, folks. Too many generators here. We'll come back a little later. It does look like it's a pretty good party. I don't know, do you think I should have paid the 75? Maybe I should be in there. But now, you know, I can put that money towards building out the truck and getting some stuff I want and some, you know, steak dinner. So we're gonna take a look and we're gonna see how many people are camped beyond the line. You just pull over by that, like that guy and use the porta potty. They probably wouldn't mind. 
So we're starting in the, the no pay people here. This is the neighborhood I'm gonna move into in a couple days. When I'm done visiting with my friend Tata Trippin'. She's got a YouTube channel too, guys. So I think the verdict, guys, is that the number of people in the main event area is equal to last year, and the people surrounding the event are fewer than last year. And in total, I think we have 20% less people, 20% fewer people. And I think half the people here are in the mooch docking area where they're not paying. That's my opinion.